So a lot of people ask me, how did you grow your spiritual business so quickly? They see me consistently enrolling soulmate clients online. They know I was able to quit my nine to five real estate career completely. They're always asking me my secret on how I did it. So I thought I would just pop in here and share a few myths with you today because it's actually a lot easier than what you may think. And First off, I wanted to share that I do have a free Facebook community called Mission to Impact. This is a free group where I share a weekly live training all around the topics that I'm about to share with you right now. So if this interests you, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you gain access to that. So let's just dive into the four myths that I wanted to share with you today. Myth number one is that you have to have your program completely built out in advance. This is absolutely not true. I go from download and idea to sale within 24 to 48 hours. In fact, the last program that I launched over quarantine shutdown um, generated 13,000 in sales in just a little over a week and I had zero content created. I didn't have any sales pages or anything like that. So this is absolutely a myth, it's absolutely not true. Myth number two is that you have to have all this techie stuff. You have to have the perfect sales page and fancy funnels and a pretty website and all these other bells and whistles and that's absolutely not true. When I launched my program over quarantine, I did it on about $30 worth of technology and this is probably the same technology that you already have in your business. A funny little case study I wanted to share with you is from my client Jessica who recently hit her 10k month she did not have any content created she didn't even know the name of her program and the funny thing about Jessica is when she started working with me she said Sarah I'm not tech savvy at all tech is really not my thing you know it's been stalling me out for a long time and I assured her you don't need a lot of technology to launch your program and sure enough she was able to hit her 10k month she didn't have you know anything created in advance she didn't even have the name of her program and she did it on very minimal 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 software so this is definitely a myth and it is not necessary that you focus on all of these other bells and whistles in fact i would say this is what i call shiny object syndrome and really distracting you from moving the needle in your business and generating revenue so third myth i wanted to share with you is that you have to be a content machine you have to constantly be creating all this content and this is absolutely not true because if you're just creating content to create content this is you know diluting your message online amongst all the other you know spiritual coaches online trying to grow their business it's really diluting your message what's more important is that you create magnetic content magnetic content is going to be what you're divinely guided to share so that you can really resonate with the soul of the person that needs your gift and and your message and the transformation that you're offering right so it's not about creating more content it's about creating magnetic content and from this place when you create magnetic content you don't have to create a lot of content but the content that you do create will exactly be speaking to the soul of the person that really needs your gift this is what i call magnetic flow state when you're able to create content from this place you will not be creating content that leads to overwhelm or burnout or frustration instead it leads to soulmate clients popping in your inbox going, oh my God, I just read what you just posted and it so deeply resonated with me. How do I work with you? Fourth myth that I wanted to bust is that you have to be doing all of this one-on-one -on -one work before you can ever build a program that's scalable. And this is absolutely not true. I've heard so many coaches and healers come to me and say, yeah, another coach told me that I had to be doing all of this one-on-one -on -one work for at least a year before I could build a program that scaled. And this is absolutely not true. And during this time, they're burned out, they're overwhelmed, their time is spread too thin, they don't have a life, they're not able to hit their income goals, they're not able to create the impact that they're here to make, and their freedom goes way, way down, right? So this absolutely makes no sense. You're building a business. There's absolutely no reason you have to build a business from a, a losing model. You want your impact to go up at the same time that your freedom goes up. And if that's not happening, then you have a losing model that needs to be re, you know, restructured. So I hope this resonated with you and I hope this inspired you a little bit just 
on what is possible for you. You may have heard some of these things out in the industry and these are myths. They are not true. It's actually super, super simple and easy to grow, launch, scale, sell your spiritual business online. And this is exactly what I teach on inside Impact, Mission to Impact, which is my free Facebook group. So if you wanna gain access to that, click the link to gain access. It's gonna be free trainings and you can definitely, definitely take the information that you, you know, receive in this group and implement it in your business right away and just run with it and grow your business. But of course, there's always going to be an option to also hop on a call and see if it's a mutual fit to work together. If you do want that extra mentorship and accountability and you really want, you know, someone to walk you through the process, of course, that's always going to be available to you as well. So if this did resonate, I would love to see you inside Mission to Impact and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.